Hello and welcome to Four Little Bears. I've done the KCC Challenge 14 for the next three months. As always, I do them two at a time. Today I'll show you my walkthrough of card number 14. This one I made into a book fold card. To make this, you're gonna use an 11 by four and a quarter inch piece of cardstock. Score at four and one eighth and five and a half inches. Add glue to the one and three eighths inch section in the middle and fold closed. That makes a, I believe it's called a book fold. And to me, this one perfectly screams out for this fold because it is almost perfectly set up for that. So I'm gonna make this one into a shaker. All I've done is I've got my four by four inch square. That is my background piece. And I have a little sentiment in the center there that says a happy hello. And then what I'll do is I will use, I've already got a piece of acetate in the circle section so that you can see through it, but it's closed. And I will add foam tape to the back of this and all around the circle. So I just wanna make sure that I've got this foam tape all the way around the opening, making sure that there are no holes that the little shaker pieces can get through. I, and I am so sorry, I've got this <laughs> my camera setup's a little too squished and I am completely out of view, so I'm so sorry about that. But yeah, all I'm doing is putting down foam tape and making sure that I don't have any holes the little shaker bits can get through. Also, in order to get that rounded shape, it's easier if you take the backing off both sides of that foam tape, so that's what I've done. I've gone ahead and taken the backing off while I try to round it around the corners or I should say the circle. And then I'll just add foam tape all the way around the edges. And I'm even gonna put a little bit in that section that's open there just to make sure that it doesn't end up collapsing on itself. Especially if you're gonna send this one through the mail, that just gives it a little extra stability and sturdiness. There you go. I'm going to fill in those corners a bit just to make sure they don't collapse in on themselves. Now, I don't know about you, but I never know when to say stop on the shaker bits. I absolutely always use too many. I guess that means I'm a maximalist. <laughs> these are just little shaker pieces that I've gotten from different um, places. I believe these came from Craft Stash, and then those are from Nuvo. And again, I have way too many in here because in the end you can't even barely see the sentiment, but <laughs> but it is pretty. There's a lot of glitter. <laughs> well, not glitter, but glittery things. Yeah. 
Now at the same time, I also did my June cards. I did the same book fold with a white sheet of cardstock this time. And on both of these, I opted not to put those optional pieces in. I did on my first set. It just depends on what look you're going for. The first one, I didn't want it to impede the shaker. And on this one, if I had had little sea life shaker bits, I 100% would have made this a shaker. I wish I had something sea life-esque to have made this a shaker. To me, this reminded me of like a porthole or some sort of something you'd see in an aquarium. And so I've used this little backer piece that looks like an aquarium. This is an Echo Park paper pad, which by the way, Echo Park has fixed their six by six problem apparently because this was perfect. If you caught one of my last videos, the Echo Park pad I was using was not a true six by six pad, but this one was great. So maybe it was just a fluke. Maybe I had a bad pad. But yeah, so all I did was I took a couple different kinds of silver cardstock, a matte silver and a shiny silver, and I cut out a few circles with some dies, and I made it look like a little porthole. I'll run through all of my KCC 14 cards that I made at the same time, going backwards from 15 to 1 on both of these sets. This was a really fun challenge. I liked it a lot. I hope you check it out. This is KCC 14, which is Kendra's Card Challenges. I will link her down below. Definitely go check her out. She has some amazing prizes that you can win every quarter and even throughout the quarter. So definitely check her out if you haven't, I'm sure you have. Thank you all so much for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, share. Every little bit helps. As always, y'all have a great week and stay blessed.